So we have seen how to access AWS using the Management Console, which is the web interface that we've done so far in this course. But there are actually three different options to access AWS. So the first one is the Management Console, as we've seen, and is protected by your username and password, maybe multi-factor authentication. Then there is the CLI, Command Line Interface. And this is something we will set up on our computer. And this is protected by access keys. And access keys are credentials we're going to download in a few seconds that will allow us to access AWS from our terminal. Then finally, there is the SDK, the AWS Software Development Kit, which is used whenever you want to call APIs from AWS from within your application code. And again, these will be protected by the exact same access keys. So how do we generate access keys? Well, we will do this through the Management Console, and users are responsible for their own access keys. And access keys, from a user perspective, they are secret, just like a password. So if you generate your own access keys, do not share them with your colleagues because they can generate their own access keys as well. So really make sure that you treat your access key ID just like your username and your secret access key just like your password. You do not share them with other people. So when you go into the management console, you get access key and there's a button to create access keys and then it gives you the right to download it in the very second. And so for example, here's a fake access key ID and a fake secret access key. And these, when loaded into my command line interface, would allow me to access the AWS API. And we'll do this in the hands-on in a second. So again, remember, I want to make sure that you don't have any security issues while doing this course or at work. Do not share your access keys. They are private to you. So if you're new to the cloud and programming and so on, or IT, then you might not know what's a CLI. So CLI stands for command line interface. And the AWS CLI is a tool that allows you to interact with the AWS services using commands from your command line shell. So whenever you see some code where you type a command line and then it returns a result, for example, AWS S3 CP and so on, this is what we call the CLI. And we are using the AWS CLI because we start every command by the word AWS. Now with this CLI, you get direct access to the public APIs of your AWS services, which is going to be very helpful in this course. And then using the CLI, you can develop scripts to manage your resources and automate some of your tasks. The CLI is open source. You can find all the source code on GitHub. And it is an alternative to using the AWS Management Console. I know that some people actually do not even use the Management Console. They only use the CLI, for example. So what's the AWS SDK now? SDK stands for Software Development Kit. And this is a set of libraries. This is going to be language specific. So you're going to have an SDK for different programming languages. And the, similarly, it will allow you to access and manage your AWS services and APIs programmatically. But this time, the SDK is not something that you use within your terminal. It is something that you embed within your applications that you have to code. So your application will have the AWS SDK from within them. It supports many different programming languages, such as JavaScript, Python, PHP, .NET, Ruby, Java, Go, Node.js, C++, all of that are programming languages. There's also the mobile SDK if you're using Android or iOS, and the IoT, so Internet of Things device SDK, in case you're using some uh, thermal sensors or bike locks that are connected, all these kind of things. So to give you an example of what you can build with the SDK, well, the AWS CLI that we're going to be using in this course is actually built on the AWS SDK for Python named Boto. So that's it for this lecture. Now in the next lecture, we're going to practice uh, setting up the, the CLI and dealing with access keys. So I will see you in the next lecture.